Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode in the Let's Play World of Warships. World of Warship claims to be free-to-play historical online combat game. I would agree with the free-to-play, otherwise I'd call it historically inspired arcade shoot them all. Yeah, it's everything but not historical or accurate, but on the other part it's very fun, it's very intensive and yeah, that's all it takes. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. I know that many of you did enjoy World of Tanks back in 2013, I think. So this is like the second installment of this franchise on my channel. I'm gonna make a couple of uh, first episode sort of tutorial, add a lot of annotations for you guys to check. Uh, if you like that, please continue watching. I'm gonna get and hopefully get better as I play through. All of these, that's the last known, episodes will be commentated after they actually happen, so I can focus on playing in the game and point out all of my mistakes and sort of tell you guys where I shined and where I sucked accurately. So yeah, again, hope you guys will enjoy and set sail! Okay, we are going to start with tier 1 ship. Japanese Hashidate class cruiser, or so it's uh, named in the actual game. Now we are waiting to get matched with other ships so that we can start the battle. Okay, here we go. A standard mission, destroy all enemy ships or capture the base. Let's check uh, what the teammates are. Okay, not bad, not good. Most of them are class to uh, or tier 2 ships, so, you know, in one-on-one -on -one we will be severely outgunned. But yeah, as a start, a bit more information about uh, this ship. Hashidate was actually a thousand-ton gunboat. Two of them were built, they were ordered in 1947, and one, named Hashidate as well, was uh, commissioned in 1940 and the second one named Uji in 1941. Hashidate itself never made it through Second World War. It was torpedoed by USS Picuda in 1944, Picuda itself being a Bawal class submarine. Uji, on the other hand, made it through and was claimed as prize of war by China in 1945. Not much else is uh, known, it fought in the Civil War in China and then it was eventually scrapped in 1980s. So yeah, this is uh, information about Hashidate's history. Uh, the ship itself served as a gunboat. There's not much else to say. Uh, in the game and itself in the history, it was armed with two main twin 120mm turrets. You can see them, uh, you know, aiming me. <laughs> aiming the guns in the actual game. I'm trying to be careful here because usually when you play with the tier 1 uh, ship you are both encountering people who don't know what they're doing and also people who know pretty much well what they're doing. Now my first target over there uh, wasn't the hit, I was too light, but I went with a patch out anyway. You never know, he could have for example be uh, going on reverse or something as that. I try to stick to the edges of the map. You can see me going uh, straight to the southern edge of the map trying to find some suitable targets. I'm hiding behind uh, these tier 2 Umikaze class destroyer who is going for the kill. I'm hoping he's not gonna die. Yeah, there's a fog screen over there. People trying to mask their trail. Okay, this guy could be a nice target. Hashidata as well, so it will be a nice one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, already shooting, because he's quite far away. Okay, I completely overshot him, so I'm trying to level the guns so that we can hit him. Okay, first hit on him. This seems to be a good angle. Okay. We set him on fire, another hits, and he finally noticed us repeating fire. I'm taking a bit of evasive action, he didn't really aim his guns well, but these other shots will be more and more accurate. Okay, again didn't hit me, and he's going on reverse. 
I'm trying to keep him under constant fire. We were very lucky. Okay, the alarm you can hear there is island nearby or shore nearby warning. Okay, we were scraped. Nothing bad. Two solid hits. He's not really shooting well, that's for sure. And going on reverse is usually a bad strategy because the reverse is always way slower than the normal one. Okay, again, the island warning. And this is the worst newbie mistake you can make in the game. I actually hit the shore and now I'm immobilized. Hitting me is a piece of cake. As you will see, I'm starting to take some heavy damage here. Covering fire won't do me much good now. But I finally managed to get myself free. Still getting more and more shots. And we are getting firing support from another ship. I think that's a Chikuma class white cruiser. But I can't be sure. Yeah, you can see how much damage we took in the lower left corner of uh, the HUD. It's pretty massive. Basically stopped now, so he's sitting duck and it's very easy to hit him. I feel a bit sorry for the poor guy because he's being constantly bombarded by two ships and he's obviously not sure what to do. Maybe this was his first game or whatever. Yeah, he's gonna go down soon. Especially if that Chikuma tier 2 class uh, white cruiser gets him. So who's gonna make the kill, me or him? Oh, I missed. Yep, so it was Chikuma. And you can see some torpedoes ahead of us going for the Hashidata. That was a long shot, but you never know. You always have to try in the game. Now, on the top you can see that uh, there's seven of our ships facing five enemies. There's the symbols uh, for each of the ships as well. Uh, destroyers get that simple triangle uh, and then all you can see here are cruisers. There's also a symbol for a battleship as well, but we have none of those in our actual game right here. And there's one more symbol for the aircraft carriers. Now we got solid 25 hits, uh, two sets on fire, and three incapacitations already. So not a bad first game. The first one recorded, that is. The Samson is going really fast. These destroyers are always hard to hit, and he's way beyond my range, so I'm not gonna even try. Or am I? Nah. I'm not. Torpedoes everywhere in the water. We still got two destroyers left and they got this one Samson, so you can never know. Torpedoes are easy to miss with, but they make devastating damage once they hit. Some of them going as far as dealing 20,000 damage in one shot, so that can sink a lot of ships in one hit. Okay, here we go. He's in range now? No, not yet. 9.1 is the range, I think. Still three ships left in the game. I really like the graphics so far, to be honest. The only thing I don't like about the game is that it has a feeling uh, when you look at the ship from close by that it's basically surfing on the water like you know it doesn't look realistic but that's basically just it's an the game is uh, in very early stages compared to the other ones 
There's a Chester unloading on one of our Samson class destroyers. Chester being a tier 2 American cruiser. Oh no, I'm not gonna get hit by this island again. What I like about Hashidata is that uh, the guns are very accurate and they reload very fast. You only get two of them, but you know, they reload insanely fast. We got a good angle and good estimate on this guy now, so most of the shots I fire should hit. Oh, he noticed us. Missed with all those shots, but he won't do that mistake again. I have to turn, otherwise I would hit that island. And it also proves to be an effective evasive maneuver here. The counterpart that I'm shooting here is an Avery Class 1 uh, cruiser. It's a United States Navy ship. It has an armament of four single turrets. So you can see that while I'm shooting uh, two sets of two, he fires with four uh, single guns. Oh, that was a nice hit. Yeah, this one should hit. Yeah. He managed to knock out one of my guns, but it won't matter much. We're getting on critical low health, but that's to be expected. He's one of the two ships left in the game. And there we go, we destroyed him. Here's the other ship, uh, the other one that's left. It's a Chester class American tier 2 cruiser. Yeah, he's gonna fuck us in about a second. Those guns are just terrible. And we're on fire. Goodbye. We were destroyed by the Fury Fire. And here we are sinking. But not a bad game, you know. We got 40 hits, uh, destroyed one ship, three incapacitations, and three sets on fire. Here you saw what uh, ships are still left in the game. We got a Samson and a Hashidata. So. One tier 2 destroyer and one tier 1 ship against a tier 2 cruiser in a fairway good shape. Now what I'm gonna advise these guys to do now is to try to squeeze him. While the Hashidata is keeping him busy, what I would do if I was uh, this Samson, I would try to get as close to the Chester and unload the torpedoes, which is the main armament of destroyer class uh, ships. He basically has a really free pass here because the Chester is not paying attention to him at all. But he unloads the torpedoes at this range, which seems like a huge mistake because uh, torpedoes are just going in a straight line and on this distance it's not really hard to miss. Or to avoid for that matter. The guy who is uh, sailing the Samson though seems really afraid to get closer by, but you can see that he's completely getting ignored. If he went for a really close pass, he would get the enemy in a single volley, but he doesn't. I'm trying to tell him in the chat that he should, but he's not really paying attention. And here he goes, unloading the other torpedoes. Now in my mind this is an unnecessary range, he could have gotten way closer. But for the sake of argument I have to give it to him that he hits with the torpedoes. I think only one though. 
If he went for a nearby pass, he could have hit with all of them. Yep, there you go, one of the torpedoes hit and he destroyed him. So, that wasn't really a bad battle at all. A tier 1 in most of tier 2, I kinda enjoyed it, ranked 5th in score. I'm happy with the outcome. I hope you guys are as well. This was the first battle and I'm gonna get back with more ships soon.